Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today, I'd like to discuss the installation of cables into terminals such as found in main breakers in electrical panels. I recently attended the Ideal National Championships Apprentice Division, and I noticed that in some cases, this area of electrical installation could use a helping hand. This is a Siemens three-pole outdoor load center, and it comes with a factory installed Siemens three-pole main breaker. This is phase one, this is phase two, and this is phase three. We use black for phase one, red for phase two, and blue for phase three. But my topic for today is safety and professional installation standards in regards to how much copper should be showing between the lugs and the cable insulation. Notice in this example for phase one, there is about an inch of copper showing. For phase two, there is about three eighths of an inch of copper showing. And for phase three, there is about a sixteenth of an inch of copper showing. So how much copper should be showing between the lug and the insulation anyway? First, let's go to the NEC code 110.12 mechanical execution of work and it says electrical equipment shall be installed in a professional and skillful manner that's excellent advice but it still doesn't tell us what amount of copper should be showing I couldn't find anything specifically in the NEC so I asked Siemens for advice on this matter I got this written statement in response in general it is good practice to strip as little wire as possible while not interfering with the lug connection. Make sure to keep a divider between any exposed wire on separate phases. Siemens makes an important point here. It's extremely important that no insulation get between the lug and the exposed cable. That would cause reduced conductivity and increased heat. In my experience, Inspectors want to see enough copper showing that they know that there is no insulation caught in the lug. But Siemens also makes the point that you should strip as little cable insulation as possible, which is a safety procedure. Here's an example of a terminal cover for three phase breakers. Notice that it has partitions to keep the exposed wire of the three phases separate. Three phase panels with main breakers usually come with a terminal cover and it's very important that it be installed after the wiring is completed. The National Electrical Contractors Association publishes a handbook called Good Workmanship in Electrical Construction. In Chapter 9, which is called Wire and Cable, under Section 0, it states that Terminations of insulated conductor shall be made so that the stripped length of bare conductor is not longer than required for the equipment terminal, lug, or connector. The conductor insulation shall bear against the terminal or connector shoulder, but not extend into the terminator point. This is not code, but it can serve as a respected guideline. Another important aspect of this is what your inspector's opinion is as to how much copper should be showing between the lug and the insulation. It's the inspector's job to make sure that there is no insulation under the lug. So if an electrician were to make a ragged cut of his insulation, the inspector may want to see more copper showing so that he or she would feel comfortable knowing that there is no insulation under that lug. If an electrician were to make a nice neat cut of the insulation jacket, it stands to reason that most inspectors would be comfortable seeing a smaller amount of copper showing between the lug and the insulation. Also, it may be that different inspectors will have differing opinions on how much copper should be showing. Perhaps it would be wise to discuss this issue with your electrical inspector. Certainly, all inspectors are going to want to see the work done in a professional and skillful manner. As to my personal opinion on the matter, I would say that if a human finger can easily touch the copper between the insulation and the lug, then too much copper has been stripped off. If an inspector can't easily tell that no insulation is under the lug, then not enough copper has been stripped. 
I think it's a good idea to do a dry fit into your lug to make sure that it fits the way you want it to and that your work is consistent. Also, sometimes devices will have a strip guide to give you guidance. Also, I think that an electrician's work should look uniform, neat, and professional. And don't forget to install the terminal protectors. They could be lifesavers. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching and happy wiring!